Hey YouTube, hey Georgia Bigfoot here, also known as uh, Waco Kid in the online forums such as Chasing Game and Slay Cam. I'm gonna cut this off real quick. This is the 2017 Browning Spec Ops Extreme Trail Camera. It is the black flash. You can see that that has a black lens, so therefore you can't see the flash at night. And I have it on this trail out here at the Deer Lease and that trail is about 25 feet away. And the trail right there runs down to the river and get a lot of action at this intersection. Last year with the 2016 Spec Ops right here, we caught a 145 um, Boone and Crockett buck on the camera, which we're able to track down and harvest. And we would not have known about him had it not been for the super fast trigger of this, of the previous year's camera. This for 2017, you may say, well, what makes it different, old Georgia Bigfoot? What's going on here? Well, it's a 20 megapixel camera and its HD video is 1920 by 1080 and that's full HD. And you may say, well, why does that matter? I'm going to watch it on my laptop. Well, in the past, you may have watched it on your laptop, but nowadays, you can get like a USB SDHC card reader and pop the card out and look at it on your HD TV. I review all my videos and my pictures, my still images, on my 55 inch Samsung, which is a pretty fantastic way to review images and not be constrained to the laptop. You know how it is, you're in the kitchen drinking coffee or you know an adult beverage of your choice and the family's wanting to gather around and you're reviewing your images on this tiny screen, well, now that's changed because the way the images, um, the way you can look at them. Uh, for 2017, a <clears throat> couple of things to mention is the time-lapse feature in the past. I uh, wrote it as a .tls file. It still does, but you can now manually change it to .avi or .mp4. That way you can review the time-lapse files on a, um, on a laptop in a larger format then the Buckwatch um, software had constricted to you in the past. It runs off of eight AA batteries. I use um, the batteries from Family Dollar. I get 36 alkalines for eight bucks. They've been fantastic. I've used uh, lithiums in here before uh, in the cameras in the past. They've worked great. It's got a display screen in the front so you can review the images in the field if you need to. I've got it mounted on a Pat Murphy Metal Art. I uh, can't remember what the name of this mount was, but it was like... $13 shipped. I've had it in the field for three years. This 2017 camera has a metal bracket on the back, has a pipe through for Python security, uh, obviously has a, um, a spot for, I think it's a one inch belt loop. It comes with a 60 inch uh, strap for the tree. It's got serrated edges so it can grip better onto a tree if you're using a strap. It has a standard threaded mount in the bottom. Uh, the battery tray pops out the bottom. There is a 12 volt external weather tight seal um, battery port right here. What's great about the Browning external battery packs, if you buy them, they're like 30 bucks. They take eight batteries, they have a built in battery meter, and they attach via a bayonet type of arrangement. So you stick the plug in and you turn it, and that way you can't pull it out like a, a critter could come by and he's not going to pull the, the, uh, the plug out of the bottom. Let's see, we've had this now in the field for a month. The first two weeks um, produced tremendous videos. I have some of those posted on YouTube right now. I'm gonna pull this card out. I'm gonna attach those videos to this in the field review of this camera. Uh, a couple of things to mention also about this camera. It's got what's called continuous IR. It is selectable. It makes it so that if something gets in front of the camera, depending on even if you set it to record for 10 seconds on video or set it to take, you know, three rapid fire pictures. It'll keep taking pictures and video as long as something is in front of the camera and the continuous IR is turned on. Also has a feature called the SD management feature and it makes it so that if the SD management feature is on, then when the card becomes full, it will overwrite the oldest file, which is pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of features in this camera for 2017. Uh, one thing I like about these bigger size cameras, 
uh, for browning, like the Spec Ops and the, and the Range Ops, it's basically Red Flash Twin, is the way the speaker arrangement is, the way the microphone is, I think it gets a, a fuller bodied sound uh, of a lot of the trail cameras that are out there. That's something I think that'll please you. And let's see, anything else to mention about this little jewel? Uh, I can't think of anything else. So like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other uh, trail camera videos I have. I love trail cams. They've really enhanced my hunting over the years. And y'all have a blessed 2017 and make it a great day. Hey, Georgia Bigfoot here, down here in South Texas, on the famous DeBose Bottom Ranch in Gonzales. And this is the 2017...